Your new single, Grow, is out now. Talk about the idea and story behind it. I think so. The origination of the whole thing was uh, we went and saw that movie, um, Prometheus. It's like a, like an alien prequel, I believe. And there's just one part of it where it's like big things have small beginnings. And uh, that, I think, is kind of the you know, impetus of the lyrics. And um, it's actually a really old song. We started playing it in like 2013, actually. So it's, we've been, do or 2014. But uh, it's just been in the arsenal for a long time. And when we went to record, that was one of the songs that, um, you know, was on the list that we hadn't put on an album yet. And um, yeah, I'm, really, it's just kind of this, in my mind, just uh, thinking of, you know, like the start of life as like a microscopic organism and uh, just kind of playing with words, and, you know. Um, what do you think it is then that yeah. continues to make it such a fan favorite? I just think it has like, like a fun groove and, you know, uplifting kind of sound to it. And, we kind of open it up every time we play it with like a cool jam and uh yeah i'm not exactly sure what makes songs fan favorites and what you know it's not really up to me you know just i just try to you know we just try to write new stuff all the time just to keep it fun for us and you know certain songs seem to resonate with people more than others there's an animated video for Grow. What is it about the video that connects to the song itself and the message behind it? Um, you know, I don't exactly know the answer to that. Uh, I did not make that video or anything, but um, I think what they were doing with the animation was just kind of playing with the whole kind of, you know, microscopic organism in the way that life seems to just continue to expand and grow. We talked, well, you touched a little bit on how you came to write Grow. What is your writing process? Do you need to have the lyrics before you can come up with the music or vice versa? I think, you know, every time I've heard an interview where, where this question is asked, the answer is always like, every song is its own kind of like journey and certain inspirations just kind of come in all different ways. Um, I think for that one, I just kind of like started it with just like a demo. I think I just, I usually try to write something every day. And uh, that I think that one just kind of started out it was just like the groove. And then I started adding in the chords and um and then then i had the words i'm always like words last because i think that my musical mind is really more geared towards melody and and harmony and groove and then lyrically is like usually last but sometimes i'll have just a random idea or i'll hear a phrase or if i'm at a bar and like i've had a few drinks like my brain just goes like, whoo, that's an interesting phrase. And I'll just, you know, I'll just kind of write that down. And then that will be the inspiration when I try to, you know, write the lyrics. I'll like look at my notepad on my phone and just see like a little lot, you know, for this one, it was because of that one line from, from the movie. And so that was in, in a notepad in my phone. And as I was, I was trying to add the words to this song, it's like big things have small beginnings. Cool. And it's like that, you know, that kind of sounds like a, like, you know, like a big chorus or something. Um, so, yeah, but I, I just usually, you know, I make like a lot of demos all the time. It's just like really fun for me. And then certain things in the moment, I'll be like, eh, it's not so great. And then like, I'll listen back to it a month later, like, Ooh, this is cool. And it's just interesting how um, certain, like your opinion on things when you hear it a few times and you're in, in the zone on it, you know, while you're making something, it's just like your, your opinion can just completely change with a little bit 
of time right inserted and so i just try to just be consistent and like i think the the line is like you know the muse only shows up sometimes but if you show up for the quantity then if you're lucky you'll get a couple things that have have the quality and so i just try to make stuff all the time because it's fun and i enjoy it and then sometimes it yields a new song when it comes to the production side of your music does the band have much of a say do you guys participate that much oh yeah yeah we uh you know everybody's hands on with their contribution to stuff um the mixing process i think like a lot of the guys like they're not as hands on on it um as much as me like i kind of take a little bit more um just i i don't know if i i just seem to want to be involved more i just like enjoy the whole you know process of i enjoy every process of it like the writing and then the recording of like the basics and then you know then you you know the overdubs for you know you know if you want to replace a solo here or solo there or like for the vocals and then the mixing is just for me i just really enjoy that whole you just get really into like a flow state and like hours fly by and you can get really like you know microscopic with certain like all right let's like tweak that sound a little bit tweak the sound a little bit and then it's like mastering and then the art you got to figure out how you're going to put everything out and like all of these different you know stages for it and then and then you move on to the next one you know so yeah we like we we definitely are hands on with all of that and i i personally really enjoy that that aspect of it well i know that you have new music coming here this spring and uh there's going to be some heavy touring as well where are some of your favorite places to perform uh well we're going to a lot of new places actually on um we're doing a tour with with um george clinton which is i'm like an amazing honor yeah. and we're going to like all over the west coast and um like arizona we've never been to arizona which is where i am right now I know. and um yeah my parents live here but we never played in arizona yet and we always love playing um in the northeast because that's like where we originally are from i think that's like where we have like the core fan base although a lot of people since we've started have moved out to other places so like you know Colorado is always like a blast for us and Ohio we always have a really good time you know like Michigan Ohio all over the northeast uh, we're actually starting to like really kind of pick up in like Virginia um it's been like slower for us but like the past couple of years it's I don't know it just kind of feels like things are starting to pick up there and and then Asheville North Carolina Charleston South Carolina um Atlanta, I'd say like those are probably my favorite places to play. I'm the Why wrong one. That. <laughs> Why is it yeah. important for you then to donate some of the touring funds to Rain and uh, this other charity? I just think that we're extremely lucky to be able to do what what we do, and I always support you know giving to charities that like are doing great things. I, I personally haven't, um, I think when we were deciding that I was, I was busy with other stuff and I was like, yep, sounds good. But I, I didn't really look into the charities on that one personally. So I'm, I can't speak to that. When you do perform live, what are some of the songs that people tend to go the hardest for? Um, we have a couple, we have, I mean, there's, Definitely this one, this one song, Faba, um, kind of starts out really calm and then like, you know, like it, it builds to this really epic rocking out ending. And that's definitely one of our, you know, fan favorites. 
Um, this other other song, Volume Three, Number Eighty Six, is a uh, same kind of thing. It uh, really expands and grows and has a you know a really fun jam. And um, it's interesting, like certain songs on certain nights go over really well. And then, you know, you play them another night and it's like, oh, that didn't go as well. But so it's just certain, you know, all different factors kind of play into why some songs. Because the way that we do our shows is like a lot of improv, a lot of um, just being in the moment. That's kind of like the goal for us is to not be thinking about what we are individually doing but what like trying to listen to everyone else while while we're playing and and while we're improvising and when everyone is doing that it tends to kind of create these you know special moments and it's like watching people on, the, on like a tightrope as they're as they're improvising and um you know, we we're definitely a jam band, so certain certain songs will have like really special jams on certain nights, and then it's like you can't always make every jam very special. You know, it's just like it's, it's just a little bit of luck and a little bit of just taking care of ourselves, like eating the right stuff, and getting enough sleep, exercising, and all that to put ourselves. I try to treat myself like an athlete, where I'm doing everything I can to put myself in the right headspace to uh, be able to not let my mind wander all the time while I'm on stage and try to just like really enjoy the moment and be there fully present, you know? What would you like to say then to everybody who are fans and supporters of the music that you make? Thank you so much for all the support, you know, it's it means it means everything to us. It's like I just feel so so lucky that there's there's people out there that find you know joy and inspiration from what from what we're doing, and it inspires me to keep going and to try to make myself better, um, to be an inspiration to everyone in my life, and then other people that like are a fan of what I do. And um, it honestly just means everything to me and I really appreciate it.